talks with braids is that the braid pattern is going to be visible and when I say visible, I mean visible from a mile away. And people are going to know their braids. All right, so there, my first con being that braid lock pattern is visible from far away. I would say that I still agree with that. Not two years into the journey, but in the very beginning when I put those braids in, granted, the smaller your braids are, the more difficult it's gonna be for people to see from far away. When I did first do my installation, because I did it myself, it definitely was visible. People could tell that they were braids. Well, people could tell that they were braids from far away. You get those comments like, oh, I love your braids. They look good, stuff like that. It definitely could be a con to someone if you're expecting to have that locked look from day one, if you're starting with braids, because they will look like braids. And I know that with sister locks or people that start with interlocks, the interlocking pattern can kind of mimic a braid look, especially in the beginning before it starts maturing. That's just something that you gotta think of when it comes to braid locks is that you are gonna have that braid pattern that's gonna be visible from far away in the very beginning before your locks start to mature. All right, so con number two. Braid locks is that it does take a bit longer for the braids to mature than other methods. The braid pattern takes longer to disappear. And I would still say that that is true. I am, what, going on 22 months of this journey almost two years, like I said, especially around the perimeter where I did them tighter. I definitely do still have braid pattern. It is definitely still visible, not so much to other people, but to me when I'm looking in the mirror or if you know I were to take a selfie or something, when you're looking closely or zoom in, you can see. Now when you get around to the back of my hair and the sides, the braid pattern has disappeared in a lot more places. We're two years in almost, and we do still have braid pattern. That is a reality that you have to take into account that the braid pattern is gonna take a lot longer to disappear than if you chose two strand twists, for example, or if you chose comb coils, just by the nature, I believe, and I've said this in other videos, but comb coils are typically the quickest uh, starter method to mature, and then two strand twists also are way quicker than braids because as I was mentioning in this initial video with braid locks, they are wonderful for keeping your hair stretched because you know your hair is stretched and it, it's longer and elongated but with that even if you braid loosely you're still dealing with your hair being intertwined in a way that it doesn't allow it to expand which again if you're trying to maintain some length and whatnot in the beginning that's great because you get to keep some of that length but in terms of your locks swelling and budding and developing the braids are going to take longer to do that than with other methods if you're doing interlocking you're doing comb coils two strand twist your hair is going to be able to swell and bud and do things like that a lot quicker than with this method that is something that i would definitely consider a con i considered it a con a year ago still consider it a con and still think that it is something to consider if you're going to think about going down the route of getting braid locks and something that you should think of beforehand. If you found this video helpful, then go ahead and join the flock by hitting that subscribe button. I post videos like this regularly throughout the week and go ahead and hit that like button so that I know what type of content you're enjoying. See you in the next video.